Hello and welcome to MWC 2025 in beautiful Barcelona. Today we're excited to showcase the future of uh, cellular networks with our integration of sensing and communication technology. This demo will show how we're transforming the way the commercial cellular networks interact with the world around us. This demo showcases how existing wireless signals can be used to sense and understand the environment without the need for additional sensors. The demo addresses a critical question. How can we add sensing capabilities to the RAN without modifying its functioning hardware or software? The answer is in our integrated sensing and communication technology, which is called ISAC. And here's how it works. Consider a network with a commercial G node B, a commercial UE, and also a non-UE target. The commercial UE transmits control signals periodically for its channel state estimation. These signals are called sounding reference signals, or SRS. The SRS signals are received by the RU for channel estimation. However, the signal is reflected off from the objects and environment. Hence, the G node B can leverage the estimated CSI for sensing purposes as well. Here is a more detailed architecture. At the G node B, the SRS is processed in the DU. The raw CSI from aerial hi-fi is fed into a machine learning model through the aerial data lake. This allows us to detect and track a person in real time, while another UE simultaneously uses the same radio resources for communication. The demo runs on a commercial mid-band 5G RAN with uh, 100 megahertz bandwidth and uses a commercial UE. Executed on the Northeastern University testbed in Boston, the demo features key components such as RU, DU, CU, Core, and NVIDIA Aerial, which processes uh, channel estimates for AI inter inference. This innovative approach demonstrates how ambient signals can unlock new possibilities for sensing in 5G networks. How does the experiment setup look like? Well, we have one RU acting as the passive sensor or receiver along with a camera positioned as the same, at the same location as the RU. We also use a commercial UE, specifically a Samsung S23 device is used for um, uplink transmission. The area where the target moves around is a decently furnished space, which is also visible from the camera's point of view. Finally, we can see the results where on the left side, we have the ground truth um, camera recording of the target moving around the room while um, the sensor's result is shown through a heat map on the right side. Thank you so much for your attention.